What's up YouTube? How are we all doing today? Today I got a little bit of a unboxing for you. I know it's been a while, but I thought we'd be ready to do it. This box just came in today. It's up off here right now because it's not working as well as I thought. Oh man, I already got that messed up too. Yeah, sorry about that. Just trying to get this thing all taken care of because it is in a very, very <laughs> Yeah, weird way. I got inked up on that. But. Uh, a box from. Oh. You all know that logo. <coughs> and what this should be is a Robin pack or set. More this stuff's behind me as usual. So let's see what we got exactly here. It's funny how that didn't get cut. Okay, I saw the FedEx guy show up on this one. I want it's my first time actually ordering from here, so I don't know what how he's going to do it. Okay. Paper galore. Bag. Now today would have been a trash day. They packed it pretty good. Spider came with some cable. Okay, let me get them both on. Have a good look at these real quick before I show them. <laughs> so this was a deal I kind of pass up. You know, I still think uh, McFarlane's being lazy and just he knows how to get your money. Basically, you got. <clears throat> you guys can see. The bundle I was worried and I heard, I heard some tales. So I got the Robin and then the Gold Label Unmasked set, and this was actually 25 bucks. Yeah, how much is one of these figures nowadays? <laughs> so yeah, that's actually a pretty good little deal. You know, to me, McFarland, I still don't call you lazy. I do miss having artwork. What do you want here? I miss having artwork on the back instead of having, you know. Oh, is there something going on now? Let's see. Robin Infinite Frontier. Yeah, this one, I've got the, uh, it was an annual or some kind of book, and I swear to God, <laughs> it was about an out of character. I've never seen Damien do some of the stuff he did in that book, because this little alien thing got out of the zoo. <laughs> and what they just recently did, yeah. I know some DC fans are probably going nuts. I know one. I can't believe what they did. I don't, I'm so shocked. But, so yeah, let's get those there. I didn't know that was a gold label either. Hey, for the deal, this was a, I mean, it was a steal, really. $25 for two figures. Usually, so right there's, I don't know if they've gone up. Some places they have, I think like 20 bucks at the time. Because I still see this at GameStop. I'm not seeing this anywhere yet. So let's see here, just show them off. You got both sides, Robin, Robin unmasked. You got the back here. That almost made me think it was comic book art, and you got the one shot here. Nice little diorama, diorama piece, or diorama piece. How do you pronounce it? <laughs> one of the gargoyles. That almost looks like the one. Nice little bit. It almost reminds me of the one from Mattel with the Teen Titan, the Young Justice line. But yeah, I like the. Uh, this was actually worth it. I was almost up to. I didn't know. I thought I canceled this order. Be truthful. Yeah, let's see the other sides. Let's see here. 
Yeah, I just feel bad. You know, here we are. Looks like the same figure. The robe is a little different on this one, though. Or the cloak. Or the cape. The hands, everything looks the same. Just the one little thing I see. Here's how it's packed. With the shell. There's one slight difference that I see. I'll see if you guys can see it too. Yeah, look at the cape. We're on this side. It just looks to me like it's a little bit molded differently. Yeah, that's not bad. I mean, hey, the deal was worth doing. So I'm going to pass it up. But I still got, I mean, I have a Batman. I got the Joker who laughs over here. Or the Batman who laughs, sorry. <laughs> the Batman who laughs. Got the Drowned up there. Devastator and Murder Machine over here. So it's going to be a really interesting little set. I'm thinking about getting one of the Joker Dragons. I'd have him riding on, but now I got to be on getting the Superboy. Or the Superman now. Jara, John L. Which I don't mind what they're doing with the character. I mean, everybody's, I know some people are going nuts. So what? I mean, so what? So freaking what? So they made him gay. Who cares? <laughs> I mean, the, st the story's interesting, and it's not just throwing in your face, you know, just to do it. It means something, because me, I'm still waiting on my, I can't remember which one of the daughters it is, one of Black Lightning's daughters. I think one Thunder and Light. I think it's Thunder, and then Grace. And I've, there's a character I wish would get some kind of plastic love completely. I mean, maybe not Funko, which I still can't believe... Punchline got a Funko long before McFarlane here ever did anything for her. There's a statue, but come on, man, where's an action figure of Punchline? And somebody's getting, thinking about getting ready to get ready because I know my Stranger Things here. I'm going to send that to somebody. I'm only keeping a few lines. But yeah. <laughs> well, I'm looking around here and see the mess I got. But anyway, just thought I'd unbox that, show these off. Yeah, I like having the two. I mean, they'll kind of, it does feel kind of chintzy when you got to buy two figures just for a different head sculpt. But I know what McFarlane's deal is. He could easily pack that head into one figure. Yeah, we could, now that could have been an easy way to do a gold label. Todd, are you listening? Regular release. This could be a release with the masked head. Hello. <laughs> Believe me, make it worthwhile. Now, the King Shark, yeah, I wish I would have got that. I missed out on that. God, my work shirt's actually sticking out. <laughs> I just now realized that. Sorry about that. If you guys see a neon green, that's for work. Walk around a warehouse, you gotta make sure you're seen. Okay, that's what I'm gonna try to figure out what that is. That kind of is hard to notice. The R. Yeah, will I do a review on both of these? Probably will. I'm surprised it doesn't have any kind of. Robin ring or anything, no, just a sword. It does have a D buckle, which I think is, I think it's just a belt buckle. One looks like a D, the other doesn't. I'll, I'll do a more in close comparison on both of these. Uh, packaging wise, yeah. I'll flatten those out and say these. I'll have to give me a freaking folder for all my packages. Because <laughs> I am going to start getting rid of some other boxes and whatnot. I know I'm going to try to get that art book that I got for Transformers War for Cybertron. Yeah, everything else does look the same. I'm going to get a look here. The sword looks... Well, it seems like on the gold label it looks a little different. Really, just a sword though? Come on, man. I can't believe it doesn't have a Robin Ring or something. Yeah, that's my first gold label figure though. Yeah, at least it's not one of those weird variants you're doing. I think like an all chrome red hood, like red, kind of solid red. But what about Red Claw from Batman Animated? What about Red Tornado? What about Red Devil? Yeah, most of you probably don't know who Red Devil is because you only jumped in on New 52. <laughs> red Devil is actually a sidekick to Blue Devil. Yeah, I was saying, hey, no, look it up. <laughs> yeah, I don't mean that Justice League Dark. I mean, look at the old Blue Devil. 
Yeah, Red, De Red Devil is kind of a cool character. He was actually kind of an actual devil. He actually always looked like kind of almost inspiration of Hellboy. Or was inspired by Hellboy a little bit, just didn't have the big hand. Um, he kind of looks like a little bit like a young Trigon as well. Well, it's just get dark. <laughs> I see something. I thought I did something there. I don't know. But yeah, this is actually really good. <laughs> so don't try to get a thumbnail here. <clears throat> okay. That's thumbnail shots. Yeah, I'm gonna be reading that box. I'm kind of surprised on McFarlane's boxes though. He didn't have a big logo. I'm just saying. Kind of glad though. So, hey guys, hope you enjoyed this little unboxing video. I know it's about 11 minutes now. But, yeah. Uh, so, what I got was a two the Robin set, which I almost I had heard stories, so I was worried that I don't get another figure in there. <laughs> it's kind of in the way you think of a Chase Bundle with a Funko Pop. We actually get, you know, the regular edition and the Chase. <laughs> That's almost kind of what this feels like. So anyway guys, hope you enjoyed the video. Like, comment, subscribe, ring the notification bell. You know the whole deal. Check out the description down below for other channels. Helping out a lot of others. I will definitely go check out Inu Hobby. Or Inu's Hobby. Inu's Table. I know, I can't remember how it's set up on the thing. But yeah, Inu Hobby. The Inu, I keep one of the Rejecticons. Inu's Hobby. He, as long as he's been on, I cannot believe he hasn't gotten modern eyes or anything yet. <laughs> He's put out a lot of content. Going to watch the whole thing. Definitely the man a comment. His link will be in the description below. And I know I got to update a lot of stuff because <laughs> I know Kato's collection just went over six, just broke six thousand. Congratulations! And I went through everybody I can. So anybody who's busted the beating new goals, congratulations, to all of y'all. Yeah, I know you can see how big uh, lane COVID and all the craziness going on here lately. I just heard. <laughs> I just had Florida this morning, so yeah, open prayers and everything goes right for my dad. First thing I see when I open up Facebook, I say, yeah, going in and see if I need to get chemo. I probably don't think I will, but, you know, just send prayers anyway. Yeah, so, Dad, here's praying, buddy. That's really messing me all day today. <laughs> Same guys, catch y'all later. Be kind to of one another, be excellent to each other, and party on, dude, rock on.